Hello guys and welcome to another video. In this one I just want to showcase my quest system that we put together in the last tutorial series. So for the ones that haven't seen the series you will now see the result that you can achieve by following the series and after that you can still decide whether you want to have a look at the series or if you just want to download the complete system without having to redo it your own. The download link for that will be in the description of this video. Also I should like to mention that I just very quickly put together a little example project using the Infinity Blade Grasslands pack and if you download the release system this example map with the quests will also be included. So without further ado let me show you the project. So I'm just going to enter the full screen mode here and hit Alt P to play the game. So the quest system features a slot based saving and loading system. Currently all of the slots are empty because we never saved but later we can use them so let's hit new game here and as you can see our character will be spawned in the infinity blade grasslands map first things first on the left side you will see all of the controls that we have so for example i can hit i which will enable mouse input here in the upper left corner we have an icon of our character with his current level the hp and underneath there is an experience bar on the right hand side we have a minimap. This little green or yellowish arrow represents our character and if we turn around this arrow turns around as well. And right here in the center we can see the current region that we're in and the prestige that we've got in this region. By completing quests you will earn prestige in the region the quest took place in and you can basically unlock further quests with that. So let me hit I to re-enter the play mode here. And if I just go here, you will see that I've got a quest here called Exploration, Reach the Bridge, leading to the ancient elven ruins. This is a main quest, which means that it's colored in orange, so the player can notice that. And you might also have seen that on our minimap we've got that little arrow hinting at the direction we have to go to. And here the distance towards the goal is displayed. Okay. Another thing that we can do is hit B, which will show or hide our quest using this little slide in and slide out animation. And when we hit J, we can see a journal with all of our current completed and failed quests. You can hit that little arrow here to expand or collapse those categories. Completed and failed are empty, but if we open up the current quest, we can see exploration, the region and the suggested level for the player to be able to complete this quest. If we select that, we can see it here again, as well as the reward that we will get for completing this quest. So plus 2500 XP, which is quite a lot, and 1000 prestige points. Then we've got a description that you can update throughout quests. So here it only says waking up in a completely different world. The protagonist decided to explore the unknown grasslands. And here we just have another list of all the goals that we already completed and that we currently have. So currently there's only one, reach the bridge leading to the ancient elven ruins and underneath there is a button to select the quest which we don't need yet because there are no other quests. If we hit J again the journal will be hidden and we can move again. So let's try to complete our quest here. Now on the minimap you can see this little icon which is the location we have to go to to complete this goal. Let's do that. As we did that, the goal was completed and we've received another one. Speak to the stranger past the bridge that we can see wandering around here. And if I hit J, open up the journal, you see there is another text that was added to our description. Past the bridge, our character saw another person wandering around and decided to approach it. So after every goal you complete, you can update the quest, which can very easily be used to enhance your storytelling. And if we have a look at our goals list, it says reach the bridge leading to the ancient elven ruins and here we have this little check mark in green means we already completed that successfully. Now let's proceed so if we go to our little NPC first in our minimap you can see the area so if you don't have a specific point where your player has to go to but rather a radius you can also use that with my system and it also features a very simple dialogue system so if I hit E to interact with Jaden here. It says, hey, I'm glad you finally woke up. The people in the ruins have some problems. They need your help. 
and our main quest was updated, solve the problems of the people living in the ruins. Alright, so let's do that. Let's head over here. And if we pay attention, currently our region says grasslands, but if we move forward, it says ruins. So there are different regions and your prestige is bound to those regions. So later when we have some prestige, you will see that this changes. Here we can see Dalian. If I press E to interact with him, he will say, you're not ready to help me yet. Come back when you're stronger. So you can very easily set up NPCs that don't directly give you quests, but wait until you've reached a higher level. We'll get a quest from Dalian when we're level two. Currently there's nothing we can do with them. So let's just go on. On our minimap, you will now see the question mark here, representing the NPC we are looking at, which is Jacob. That just means that he has a quest that we can accept by pressing E. And his quest, a special delivery, was now added. If we press E again, he says, please help me to find my chest. And let's have a look at our journal. So in our current quest, there is another entry called a special delivery. As we can see here, the text is colored blue, which means that this is a side quest. And we have our description here, as well as gold. So find the sorceress chest, return the chest to Jacob. You might have also noticed that we've selected special delivery automatically. If we want to select another quest, we can either go into our journal and select the quest and scroll down, hit the select quest button here. Or we can close our journal, hit I, and just select any of the sub goals or the other quests. If you want to toggle between the sub goals, you can also use tab to do that. And as you can see on our minimap, the target changes. Right, but first we have to find the chest. So let's select that goal and we will search for it. Right here it is. So it says chest, press E to pick up. Let's do that. This goal was completed. And in our journal, the description updates. Now we have to return it to Jacob. Also, let's move to the right here. Because here there is another NPC called Bladed. If we press E to interact, he says, come back when you've earned some prestige. You can have NPCs that only give you quests when you've reached a certain amount of prestige points in that region. But let's return the chest to Jacob. As you can hear by the sound, the quest was completed and we've earned some XP. We are also leveled up to level 2. And now we have 100 prestige points in our ruins. And if we press E, he says that there are also other people that need some help. But 100 prestige points are not enough to talk to the bladed guy yet. Instead, what we will need to do is go to the Delling guy here. But before, I just wanted to show you that you can also expand the completed quests here. See, a special delivery is in here. And you've got a list of all the completed goals here. Now let's talk to Dalin. And we've received the quest, let the hunt begin. If we press E again, he says, I see that you leveled up. Well, that changes everything. And if I hit J, very quickly select, let the hunt begin. You will see here that the suggested level is three. And because that's the higher level than our current level, it's colored red. See the reward here in the description. According to Dell and the people of the ruins were afraid of a crowd of spiders approaching the ruins. The protagonist offered to hunt some of the spiders in order to make them retreat. And our goal is to hunt spiders, zero of three, so not hunted any of those yet. What we can do here is hit cancel quest. The quest will be removed. And if we cancel a quest, the question mark here will appear again. You can press E to accept it again. Just if you want to restart a quest, you can cancel it and then get it again. Or if you don't want to do it, just cancel it and never accept it again. We need to kill some spiders. If we go to the right here, you will see that there are some enemies that are included in the quest system. Spiders, they are level 3 and you can see their HP bar. If we approach them, they will attack us and follow us. If they hit us, we are dealt damage, 45. And I can hit the left mouse button to launch an AoE attack. So killed one of them, got some XP for that. I killed the second one and you can see our goal updating there. Then I can kill the last one. 
and the goal was completed. Also, those spiders will respawn. Also got respawn support in the system here. And now our goal is to inform Dallin about the spiders. So let's do that. And by the way, let's try to see if our save system is also working. So I can hit M, then select the slot to save my game. This one, it says level 2, region ruins and the time at which we saved. Then I can hit continue, or I can exit and hit Alt P again. Select the slot to load my game, and here I am. And the journal is also loaded successfully with all the completed and current goals. So let's inform Dallin about the spiders. To also complete this quest, we leveled up to level 3 and got 500 prestige, which is actually enough to talk to Bladed. Let's actually save here. Continue. And if we press E here, we've got another quest, Tempest Fugit, with the counter that you can see right here. So we have 6 seconds left. And if the time runs out, you can check our journal. And under Fail Quest, you will now see Tempest Fugit and the goal, Find the Demon Statue, was not completed successfully because we were too slow. But I can restart the game, load, get our quest again, and if I now hurry up, you should be able to make it. Also what I should mention is that this quest is covered red, which means that it's an event. So pick up that statue, level it up to level 4, and in our completed quest we can now see Tempest Fugit, which is an event took place in the ruins. We've got the reward for that, here's the description. Okay, that's it for the showcase video on my quest system. Feel free to download it from the link in the, in the video description. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel to see new blueprint tutorials every week. Alright, see you in the next video.